I will Please be seated. Today we we have the feast. Today being the twenty eighth day of October, we have the feast of Saint Simon and Saint Jude apostles. We anticipated their vigil on Saturday because it's not possible to have a vigil on a Sunday, and. Um, we read a brief account of their life and a very touching one at that and how it applies to our, our situation today in a way. Um, St. Jude or Thaddeus asked our, uh, our Lord at the Last Supper why he manifested himself to the apostles and not to the world. And our Lord answered him that he only manifested himself to souls who show him him their fidelity by observing his commandments and this letter we we'll see we we'll see that um, this manifestation that I'm spoken about here uh, uh, spiritual authors speak of it in terms of this experiential um, knowledge of, of God that God manifests to those souls that love him in a um, theology of Christian perfection we, we we speak, we speak about that each person is a potential mystic. So only few attend to this height of having that experiential knowledge of, of God. The knowledge we have of God through faith is, is, is substantial, is a good, is, 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 is different, all right, from that, this particular experiential knowledge we speak about that comes, um, that only comes to, to those, all right, the few, who actually detach themselves from attachment, um, inordinate attachment and affections, all right, they sincerely deny themselves and are really devoted to Christ. Christ said it is only to those that he reveals himself. And so, um, of course, as we say, this knowledge is attained only by a few because very few, very few, disengage the affection from creatures, right? And only few study perfectly to extinguish in themselves this uh, inordinate attachment and affection to creatures. Well, you can choose to be among that few today by studying how very well to touch yourself like the apostles and the martyrs and, and the confessors did and the, 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 and you have you have this experiential knowledge of the love of Christ, and and Christ will manifest Himself to you even more and more. And then um, he, again, the same um, Saint Jude, he wrote one of the Catholic epistles, the the, the letter of Saint Jude. And in this episode, very interesting, he we sent uh, this uh, ecclesiastical writer Origen say that. This episode contains strong doctrine in few ways. It's one of the shortest books in the Bible. In the first part, he foretells the condemnation of heretics, all right? Well, uh, for those who, who fault us for speaking about heretics, well, we are following, it's, it's an apostolic, and um, it's, it's something, it's, it's um, apostolic custom to speak about and condemn heretics, okay? And he compares heretics to the clouds without water, to autumn trees without fruit, and to wandering stars for whom um, uh, profound darkness is a portion for all eternity. But, of course, today uh, the modernists being themselves the synthesis of all heretics, the, 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 the Tell people that no heretics are not um, are, are good men. All right, they are just um, partly good, and you can meet them to, to to take you partly to heaven. I don't understand. Well, think about that. But he compared them to also he likened them to the rebel angels. All right, and the, like the rebel angels, heretics shall burn forever in avenging flames. This is from the Bible, 
we are not making this up all right and so even um today all right um if when you learn your catechism the heretics and schismatics are compared to what a soldier that ran away from the camp all right of course to the extent the soldier ran away from that camp, that the soldier is liable to be punished according to the rule of the of, 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 of the army all right but wherever he is functioning as a, as, as a soldier he is doing that not as coming with authority from the camp but one as a dissenter so like the rebel angels the, the, the heretics will burn forever in her vengeance flames but when, and then in the second part of his book, um, his letter says, and Jude, um, he exhorts the faithful not to be deceived by the seducers, but to remain firm in their faith in God and in Christ. You see, that is what we do. To warn people not to be deceived by the false gospels of today, the gospels of indifferentism and all of that, that, that bears its fruit in different ways. And of course, Sadly, the majority have been sorely deceived, and now, as the saying goes, it is easier to deceive people than to undece undeceive them. Now we try to undeceive them, but they rather they see us as the deceivers. Well, blessed be God, we we'll continue to do our work, right? But for you, dear faithful, remember, listen to the warning of St. Jude today. Do not be deceived by the uh, four teachers of our day remain faithful, remain faithful to the faith, the faith, the integral faith of Christ. And of course, detach yourself even more and more from created things. And Christ will reveal himself particularly to you, as he said, that he only reveals himself to those who love him and do his commandments. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the 